What lives inside that little dirty hole? We're gonna find out with Tenkara. Well, good morning, everyone. Gotta be a little quieter right now because I'm in amongst a bunch of trees, down in a drainage, over in some kind of little industrial area. And I found this ditch with this pool of water in it. It's real dark, nasty looking. Kinda looks red brown color when you look directly at it. There's movement on the surface. Lots of little movement. I see some fish in there that are three inches long or so, sitting up towards the surface, and then I also see some fish down towards the bottom, in down under where all the shopping carts are at. So I'm gonna see if I can set up and catch something here, because where I was intending on going fishing today, the water is just like a solid mud flow right now. So we're gonna have to pass on where I was headed today and we're gonna have to try to fish and be productive in some weird little ditch so let's see if we can do something here so the rod I have with me today is the max catch Tenkara yes the broken rod because that's what it is and it's broken A lot of activity in this area. I don't know if we need to go all the way out yet. Got one. Whoa, get the net under it. What is it, a bluegill? Really? That's a beautiful little fish. Nice little bluegill. Still got that fly in its mouth. Let's just get him back in the water. They seem to be living in this little puddle here. Oh, look at this one. Oh, that's a big one. Boat foot. That's a big old bluegill. Oh, I guess it could be a green sunfish. Really nice size one. Maybe woo, five inches. There it goes back in the water. Let's see if we can find another one over there next to that shopping cart. Oh, what luck. There we go. What's this? The chub? Uh, look at that nice chub. That's a good size one too. Pretty. Really took that hook. I know buddy, I'm trying to get you unhooked. Woo, squirmy. Nice little guy. Can't believe that one came out of there. What happens if I just dip it over here?
Nothing. <clears throat> oh yeah. What do we got here? Another bluegill. Wow. That's a nice one right there. A little bitty one. Definitely seems like there's a deep spot right here. I guess there was a fish right there. They're pretty tiny. There we go. Let me get my net underneath it quick. Come on, net. Bluegill. Let me get it back in there. My net, thank you very much for catching it. Quit catching my hook. Let's see if there's another one. So hard to see down in there. It just looks like you're staring into a glass of water down Dr. Pepper. There we go. And then that nice little bluegill. That green sunfish. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a green sunfish. Lots of green sunfish in here, apparently. Oh yeah. Another nice bluegill. This one took it. Took it deep. It's a nice one. A little green sunny. I mean, I keep saying bluegill, but there's green sunfish. I think there's about 50 of them in here, it seems like. The camera really doesn't do it any... Well, the camera's really not doing it any justice. But over around the sides, you can kind of see a little bit of it. I'll see if the sunglasses will help. It looks, it's just really yellow. Molt, molten, melted, iced down Dr. Pepper, about one and a half feet deep with a bunch of little fish in it, can't believe it. Well, thank you guys for watching this little adventure where I was trying to go to one place to go fishing, I ended up not being able to go fish there because the water is just mud, so I made it to here, didn't even know here even existed, so we're going to roam around a little more. Maybe see if we can find some other spots to get a mosquito away from my face. And, uh, yeah, it was a good, productive little adventure to this puddle, I guess. Uh, I was using the killer bug. I'll put a photo of it up there on the screen. And uh, that's pretty much the only one I was using that and some... Kabari that was green and brown. 
real small size 22 that I made up. Thanks for watching and liking and subscribing, everyone.